Hey there viewers, it is now Friday, which means it is time to introduce my next LP project. Now, last Friday I finished off Darksiders, and I said that the next game that would replace my Fridays would be an action-style game, hack and slash, very bloody, very violent. And I found a good game that fits that bill. So here we go. Now, I actually teased this game in my 2010 montage video. Let me turn the volume up. Now, there's probably going to be an echo. Sony Computer Entertainment America presents a San Diego Studio production. The Mark of Cree. That's exactly what this game is. Now it's a ancient ancient Japan style fighting game. Kind of samurai-ish. Okay, for every evil there is a greater good. For every innocent there is a protector. For every legend there is a hero. Gather round all of you who would listen. I have a tale to tell. A story of warriors and kings. A saga of dark magic, a legend of high adventure. Long ago, during the First Age, a series of dark spells were created. One of these spells had the power to breach our world and the one of darkness. An evil spell with no purpose but that of destruction. Or it could be invoked, stolen, and broken into six separate parts, six lines, six incantations. The spell, however, was dark and powerful, and not easily destroyed. So instead it was hidden away in a place where none would find it, scattered about the world in six separate locations. Six different families entrusted with its safekeeping. But men are mortal, and time can be the enemy of fear. All too soon we forget how the bee will sting and the fire will burn. As time passed, the families forgot what these marks were for. Mankind dismissed the ancient warnings about these words of power. They were merely stories, tales from a long past time. Denizens of the world of darkness knew nothing of time. With infinite patience they waited. Then, after a millennia, to their dark joy, the spells were rediscovered. And there is a nice introduction. So we gotta find the six separate spells that are placed around six different locations. Six, six, six. All right, let's start up a new game. This is gonna be a blind run. Just like all my other LPs. For years, my master had trained with the side of Bao Musu, a noble warrior. He had become a fine swordsman and his training was now almost complete. But why train if he was to stay in the safety of his home forever? My master was restless. It was time to move on, time to take his first step into manhood. His muscles yearned for action, his heart sought adventure, his sword craved combat. Yes, it does. You can't have an action hero who does not crave fighting. It's a nice loading screen. Okay, saving data. No, they didn't really give me a chance to change the options, did they? There wasn't even an options menu. Ooh, now look at this. This is very smooth. I like it. Hey, what's that? Okay, so I cannot change the camera angle. At all. I can do that. I can zoom in. Oh, that's how I change the camera angle. Okay. But it, it's just like that. There's no permanent camera camera fix. It only does that when I mess with the right joystick. 
And that gives me a little green arrow at the bottom. I'm assuming that's going to be my life. Square, triangle, and circle do nothing. There's no running button. So yeah, they limit me pretty hard on what I can and cannot do in this game. I do like that though. It's like a rave. Oons, 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 oons. Alright, um, I guess we talk to the people down there with the triangles above their head. Yeah, let's talk to the barkeeper. Uh, you want work, huh? Uh, I don't know. Business has been slow lately, boy. People tell me bandits have made our neighboring forest their home. Anyone trying to get here is being robbed, or worse. It's made by Musu nervous. He thinks it's the beginning of dark times. I think they just need a good kicking before they'll move on to someone else's forest. Hmm. Well, Musa tells me you've become pretty good with that sword of yours. Uh, maybe you could... Ah. Uh, well, maybe I've got some other work around here you could do. Uh, uh, how about washing down some tables for me or uh, mopping the floor? Uh, well, maybe you can help Tati clean dishes or, or sweep up or pick up or after her. She's kind of a mess herself. People keep flushing foreign objects down the where are they flushing down the toilet? Oh, we have an option to still talk to the guy. Uh, okay, objectives. See Barmusa to train or head to the door to clear the local ruins. Let's see if we can talk to the barkeep again. See if he has anything else to say. Uh, you want work, huh? Apparently not. Okay, skip that. So I guess this guy's going to train us. Boy. How to fight with a hook. Right? No. How to kill scarecrows. And not the little birds that surround them. Simple, yet important is defense. To defend against a strike from any direction, just hold the R1 button. Try it now. Okay, there we go. Good. Kind of simple. Now let's beat on the dummies. The key to the craft is in learning to exact your strikes. To do this, you must use the right analog stick to direct your focus and select the target. Point the right analog stick in the direction of the dummy or dummies you want to select. You can also sweep the stick around. Use the right analog stick now to focus on all of the dummies. Your okay, so that's what that does. Focused on the dummies. The dummy with the X above his head is your main target for now. You can maneuver around by using the directional stick. Try moving in close to him, backing away, and stepping around him. Okay, kind of easy. That's it. To attack this dummy, press the X button. You will find that attacking the enemy from in close provides a fast hit, while attacking from a distance provides a more reaching attack. Go on. Try pressing X now. So a ranged attack. It's a nice little swing that misses completely. Whereas close. Now okay, they don't the X close. button four times for an attack combo. Try a four button attack combo now. One, two, three, four. Ooh. <laughs> hmm. Well done. Had that been a real enemy, he would surely be dead. You can now attack another dummy. Before attacking the dummy with a circle above his head, notice that he is far away. If the enemy is too far away to strike, you will see that his icon is transparent, meaning you will only face him when pressing the attack button. Try striking the enemy now by pressing the circle button. And it was a miss. Before you try and strike the dummy with a square above his head, notice that his icon is also transparent meaning he is too far away to strike. Move closer to the square target so that you can strike him. Try it now. The icon is now solid and the target is now in attack range. Press the square button to attack the dummy. Try it now. Try it now. Equally important is the ability to break your focus. To break focus, press in on the right analog stick. Good. You would now be able to redirect your focus and select new targets. 
Now let's try something a little tougher. When you focus on only two enemies, you can do more elaborate and powerful attacks on the enemy you are facing by using the open button to modify your attack. Focus on two dummies by aiming the right analog stick. Okay, so these two. The dummies are assigned to the X and square buttons, leaving the circle button open as an attack modifier. To use an attack modifier, you must first press the button of the target you are facing, followed by the modifier. Let's give it a try. So press the X button, followed by the modifier, in this case the circle button, to do a more elaborate and powerful combo attack. 